This is a production of a musical that we did 20 years ago in the wake of 9-11. And it was at a time when the city was so much at odds with itself and everybody was feeling particularly vulnerable and feeling that things will never quite be the same again. And lo and behold, here we are 20 years later and things will never be the same again, again. This play is full of hope as it was 20 years ago when we did it. And music and joy and color and laughter and fun and silliness. And I, that's what I wanted to, to do to kind of start us off again on a positive note, a, a, a note of hope, and I, I think this fills the bill. The Streets of New York takes place in the mid 19th century. Uh, it starts off in 1837 when there was a, a big panic which uh, forced many families into extreme poverty all of a sudden. Uh, so those, that's kind of the circumstance of the show that kind of gets us going. And then we're pretty quickly launched into 1850, 1857, 20 years later, where the bulk of the action of the show takes place. Lucy Fairweather is the daughter of Patrick and Susan Fairweather. Um, her father was a sea captain that unfortunately lost his inheritance and left us very poor. You have come to say goodbye? Never. Mark Livingstone is a, well, once affluent and fashionable man about town in New York. Dixie Buffy is the daughter of Dolly and Dermot Buffy. Um, they are basically the epitome of the title of show, The Poor of New York. Um, they're a pretty impoverished family, and yet I feel like they serve as the heart of joy of the whole piece. Discover, oh my God, to be his lover. Hold his hand, touch his skin, kiss his lips, rip his shirt off, see his chest. Oh my God. I think people should come see this because for me, and I know for the rest of the cast, of everyone who's been a part of this, it's a lot of our first times back making theater in person. She likes bad boys. Alita Bloodgood is very wealthy. She's the daughter of Gideon Bloodgood, who is a very prominent banker in New York City. Gideon Bloodgood is an unscrupulous banker, and I do have so much fun with him. I play the um, handsome, uh, smart, crafty, sly, very sexually charismatic Brendan Badger. My favorite part of this process has just been getting to know these actors and loving them and laughing with them and what they do on this stage is really spectacular. I hope the audience goes, ah, and I do, I hope they think that's funny, but I also think deeply they just walk out and go, oh, isn't that interesting? This play is a magnificent, fantastic journey. We start here, we go here and here and here. I mean, it's, it's, it's I don't know how we cram all this story into a little less than two and a half hours, but we do. You're gonna have some laughs, and it's so wonderful to be a part of. It's gonna be really fun, and I think for the audience, it's gonna be so fun to connect with these amazing, amazing actors. So just, just come on out for a great time. We will survive and stay alive on these unholy shadows. We cry for you, that fire, outside